Welcome guys, let us create a simple VBP project and then we will test it using Fiddler. We have created our solution for VBP project. Let's start implementing get, put, post and delete methods in VBP. Here we will not create any client but we will test our VBPIs using Fiddler. So we do not need this views folder. Let's start. First we will create one model. Model is the object that represent data in your app represented as a C sharp classes. So let us create one model. Right click on model and class. We will create one customer class. In this customer class, we will create two properties. ID and name. So this is our model class. So now we will create one controller. Controller is an object that handles HTTP request and creates HTTP responses. Right click on controller. Now, see here we will select VBPI controller empty template. So, we will write all methods manually. Click add. This will add controller to your solution. Our controller API controller name would be customer controller. Add. See customer controller is added to our solution and it is inheriting API controller. For time being, I am not creating any persistent database. We will use an in-memory database. So let us create one static list using our complex type that is customer model and we will store 2 to 3 records in it. Here we are creating on customer lists. Now we will store two to three records in our customer list. Let me copy this. So as of now, we got one static customer list and we have stored three records into our list now we will confirm get put post and delete operations on customer list let me change this First of all, we will write HTTP gate method. Get all customers. And here we will return our customer list. Suppose we want to get one customer by ID. So in this case, we will write one more HTTP gate method. Here we will pass teacher ID. Let us take one variable obj and this obj is equal to customer list dot 
constant default id is equal to equal to our parameter id that we are passing check for null condition if obj then we will return not found otherwise we will return ok and not obj so in this way using two HTTP get methods we will fetch all the data in our list and we can fetch a particular customer using his ID not found and ok are response status code that is the HTTP status code that gives client idea about the status of the request so now let us jump to next method that is HTTP post means create new customer now here we will get form body its type is customer and we name it as new customer form body means we are getting all the data into our model from the request we will return ok see here you can return your any status code as per your commands see here if customer is null means the customer from from body if it is null then we will return bad request and if it is not null then we will add it to our customer list new customer we have created our customer now let us up write one method to update that customer put HTTP port is used to update public to update a particular customer we need his id and the model from body its type is custom that is our model type And here you can do your return response status code. Suppose I will give OK. Again, OK. Now, here again, we will check for our condition. Yes, not equal to that ID. Or in both conditions, we will return bad request. Otherwise, we will update our customer with new details. So, if it is not null, we need to find that particular customer. So, take one variable equal to our customers id equal equal to our parser id parameter id here we can check again it's not condition obj equal equal to null then return not found here we are using not found status code and if it is not null then that customer name equal to our updated customer's name and we will save this updated customer into our list
So now we are done with get post and put methods. So now let us write down our HTTP delete and delete. Here again we need particular ID of that customer. And here I will return status code. Okay, after deleting that particular system, you can return any status code. It's up to you based on your requirement. We will take one variable here to be changed equal to our customer list. We will find that particular customer by that ID. Again, we will write. Our lambda is special. T part ID is equal to equal to that parameter ID that we have selected. Now let us check the more condition. Equal to equal to equal to equal then return again not found. And if it is not null, then delete it from your customer list. So we have completed our four methods. For get, post, put, and delete, we have created one customer C sharp class customer. And we have two properties in it ID and name. So we have used that model to create one static list, and in that list, we have stored one, two to three records, and then we have, we have written all the four methods that is get, post put and delete let us check all these four methods within fiddler so to test all these methods let us open fiddler you can use postman and advanced client also but for time being we will use fiddler